YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let's get to the money. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to trade options in the Moomoo desktop app. So that's right, the Moomoo desktop app. So a lot of you uh, that day trade have came in here and you're kind of confused on how to trade or if you're new to day trading or whatever kind of trading it is you do. So when you log on here, you're going to be automatically prompted to your watch list. And the, pro and the watch list, you have to build. It is simple. So if you click here and let's say you want to add, uh, I don't know, Macy's to your watch list, right? And so you're going to double click Macy's and then you see watch list here. You click the heart. And then if you go to all, now you can see Macy's is in your watch list. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a look at the SPY, which is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. So when you come here, you may be defaulted right here to where it says capital trend, trade news, announcements, whatever. So what you wanna do is click on options. Now, it's going to default to single option and more more likely it's going to default to both as far as calls and puts. Okay. I like to see mine, you know, start off with the calls and then here you have your strike prices and you can change the order. So for me, I like to see the biggest number coming down, but if you like to see the smaller numbers um, and, and coming up, then you can flip it by just simply clicking strike here, okay? Now, also, you have the option of seeing in the money or out of the money option chains, right? So for me, I wanna see both. I like to see what both chains are doing kind of simultaneously looking at the different ranges, okay? So let's say I wanted to go with the 515 strike price. I think there's a possibility that SPY could go to 515, or I just want to use less capital um, than the 513 uh, before this 515 really starts to eat up the time decay. So I'm going to double click. You have to double click there. And then you're gonna click on trade. Okay, now when you hit trade, you're going to see that you have a limit. So you have the limit price means this is the maximum willing to spend on this particular option. And you can adjust it to 404 or whatever it is, right? Maybe you want to go up, right? So maybe you want to go up and see if you can play around with it. Maybe you try a 5 5 five zero or something you try to play with it otherwise if you select market that means you're gonna buy this option at whatever the ask price is right so if the ask price right now is uh five dollars then that's exactly what you're gonna be buying it for now the stop limits and stop markets those are essentially saying that hey after I purchase this particular contract, I want to trigger a price here stating that if it falls to three dollars, for example, then I want I want to be automatically sold out and I want to protect my capital. And then you have to quantify how many quantities you're going to be using. So that's very important. If you have 10 contracts and you want to get out of all of them, you have to put how many contracts you want to use to get out all right and so obviously this isn't gonna matter because this particular option chain is set with an expiration of today all right now let's go back to where it says options here and we are going to go to more all right now more is going to bring up all of the variety of different options that you want to choose right so for example, if we're still working with calls, you would double click here. And this is why I like this window. Make sure it shows buy right here, okay? 
click here where it says pop up independent window and it shows you your max loss would be five dollars now if you have more quantities obviously that number here would be going up so if i click there you'll see it go to 35. max profit is showing as unlimited so that's why i like that now if you do the list view what you're going to you see is the strike price uh the expiration date so forth and so on all right so there's a list view again and then there's that chart view so the chart view is going to show you your potential earnings so the same thing on the put side we come here we change it to put let's say we think it's coming down to 510 uh you got to change that to buy then you're going to come here to pop up independent window then you can see your max profit could be uh yeah fifty thousand and it looks like yeah some change or whatever your max loss would be five dollars so i think it's it's showing that because there's more movement to the downside right now okay now we come to a single option here and we clicked on cover call right so your cover call means that you own 100 shares of spy right so you have to own 100 shares to do something like this so you own 100 shares all right, so if you're dealing with uh, cover calls, right? So with cover calls, if you double click here, and then you come down to the pop-up independent window, it shows you that if you're on the buy side, you can max profit $406. Um, and to the max low side, you're at $51,000, right? So it's showing if this thing comes down, your profit and loss be be up a little. All right. So if you're up in here, it's kind of hard to use a little bit, but but yeah, you can see your profit and loss here. Now, if you switch this to the sale, it would be the opposite. So it's the exact opposite, right? So. If this thing starts to come down, it's showing you what your profit and loss is here, right? So make sure you study those. This is why I like those. So coming back out to the chart view, uh, list view here, it shows you exactly what's going on. So those are your, your cover calls, cover stock, vertical spreads. So this is one that I do all of the time um we're on a call chain here so if we open up this particular this chain you can see it automatically defaults to the spread that they really want you to choose but you can choose which one ever one you want rather it's one two whatever the case may be all right so if i double click here and you click on a buy and then we click on a pop-up independent window. It's showing you exactly what's going on. You're buying a call and you're selling a call. And then with the chart view, it's showing you that this is an actual debit spread, right? So with the debit spread, this means that um, that you can make $96 at the max, but you can lose $4, okay? And it's showing you exactly what happened on this chart here. Okay. So again, your max profit is 96. And it's showing you right, at, at five, 515 at expiration, you probably $37. So the higher the number is, the more you make. The lower it goes, then the more you lose. Now, if you switch this to sell, now you're talking about a call, um, a call credit spread, meaning that that your 
you don't think Spa's gonna go above with the with the this five sixteen, and that if that happens, then you're gonna be in profit of two dollars. So I've been way more successful with credit spreads versus the debit spreads. Okay, and that's something you're gonna have to learn. Now, the opposite way with the puts. Let's say you come down here, you say, hey, I think this thing isn't going to go below, uh, you know, 511. So I'm going to do a credit spread here. And so if you were on the sales side, this is a put debit spread. So you would max out at $87, meaning that see then you're susceptible to losing thirteen dollars now on the sale which is the credit spread which is what I like to do is meaning I'm using eighty nine dollars of collateral to make eleven dollars right and so as long as this thing goes it doesn't really go below five twelve and I'll be making some money. If it starts to come up into 511, 80, 511, 90, then I could potentially lose some money. And this chart will show you exactly where you start to lose money. Okay? So make sure you study in your chart views. All right, now you have your straddles. So straddles essentially means you're buying and selling a call and a put at the same strike price. So if I said we wanted to do 514. Uh, I'm going to change that to buy. And we're going to click there. So this shows you that uh, outside of Outside of 5, 15, you're going to make money. You switch this to the sale, which is what I like to do. As long as you stay in this range, you're going to make money. Right? So your max profit would be $126, but your, your losses could be unlimited. So you got to be careful gotta set your stop losses and we talked about those so be very careful if you craft plan on doing straddles strangles are similar um we would go do the do the 5 14 to 15 they're gonna be two different sets of prices but kind of a similar strategy in a sense so it shows you uh you have a potential also, 119 in an unlimited amount of profit. And it shows you where you lose money and where you gain money. But this essentially, at this point in the market right now, it would be, probably be best to stay out of this. So, to the sales side, uh, as long as you stay within this range, you have a possibility of profit. So, you want to study. On that, uh, you got collars, you got butterflies, you got condors, you got iron condors, which is one of my favorites as well. You can also adjust your your spreads up here. All right, so if I double click on this one, for example, change this to buy. Click on the pop up independent window. It's showing me that. The max profit is $13, max loss is $87. So, it looks like if you start coming in this range here, standing here, you lose. But to the sales side, if you stay in this range here, you'll be credited at $86. So, pretty interesting. Uh, 
set of options change. Th theirs is a little bit different than some of the ones I've seen, especially, you know, with the different namings and whatnot. So if you do view strategy detail, it'll kind of tell you uh, what's going on, okay? So that, that's an important thing that you can, you can look at as well, okay? So same thing with this. If I go to single option and I do view strategy, it shows you, you know, what's going on here. So a lot of different tools to show you what you're doing. All right, guys. So hopefully this video is going to help you out. You know, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. I'm out.